Okay, guys, two things really quick. Just I just got back from astronomy class, and it was amazing. First of all, the teaching assistant, the TA there, the grad student was teaching, and he told us today, just as, as a side note, he was talking about how th what things, how they're, uh, what they're held together by, what are things held together by, and he said that we're held together by electricity. And I was like, what? But then I started thinking about it. Yeah, when you really get down to that microscopic, that tiny, tiny level, all the bonds, all that stuff is just governed, you know, by electricity. Um, you know, different types of elect electronic bonds, ionic bonds. I don't know all the chemistry behind it and physics behind it. But yeah, he was right. I was like, damn, that's incredible. Like, that's so cool to think about. We are just like bonded by electricity, you know, matter bond bonded by electricity. Anyway, second thing. Back in February of this year of 2013, apparently there was a huge meteor that hit Russia. And I didn't know about this. I don't know how I missed this. He showed us the video. You guys, if you go on YouTube right now, Search for it. You can find it easily. Meteor hits Russia, 2013. It was one of the most surreal things I've ever seen in my life, you guys. You see this little beam of light, you know, coming out of nowhere. It gets brighter, and then it flies over people. And people are just using their cell phones and stuff to record, right? And you know what this reminded me of? My dream that I told you guys about in one of my videos uh, earlier. Oh, by the way, side note, <laughs> I hooked up with Nokia. I got this medium shirt. These two girls, these girls were hanging out on the drill field like a week ago. I don't know what they were doing. They just told me if I took a picture with them, I'd get a free shirt. And I was like, fuck yeah. So I put a little thing on my – I put a hat on, like a firefighter hat because they had, like, props there. And I took a picture, and they gave me a free medium shirt. So that's what's up. Um, yeah, Nokia is definitely a slut, by the way. Anyway, so this meteor flew over everybody's head, right? And they were recording it, and they were like, oh, man, this is crazy. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear this sonic – boom this huge noise the camera like shakes windows explode like windows break glass starts shattering um and the ta he was explaining to us how even though you saw the smoke all the way up in the air like miles and miles in the air so high up it took the sound it took the sound waves minutes to travel down <laughs> to finally impact the earth to finally impact you know the ground level um on our planet and when it finally did, it made this huge noise. So then I was thinking, oh, my God, this just supports my dream even more so. So, like, let's pretend we knew we could teleport, right? Let's pretend they're aliens. They teleported, and they arrive here. Depending on the mass of the object, of the ship, of the vessel, of what have you, that appears into the, into the environment, that appears into this reality, depending on the mass, I almost guarantee you a sound wave would be proportionate to that mass that, would, that it, it would – disrupt does that make sense so let's say we're looking outside you know this window right now and a ship just appeared out there right like a huge fucking alien ship as it did it would pressurize all the air around it sending these ripples right ripples through space to me and eventually it would probably shatter these windows right you know the sound wave the sonic boom would shatter everything depending on the mass and the, the bigger the ship the greater the mass the more sound you know gonna would come flying through here guys this stuff should be blowing your mind because all I know is, dude, this semester, fall of 2013, I'm doing this neuropsychology course, the hardest course like ever I've ever taken besides my senior level AP biology back in high school, but that's a totally different, totally different story, totally different video, and I'm doing astronomy, you know, just intro. Both levels though, it, uh, one and two, and this is what's happened to my brain this year. It's literally been cut in half, you know, with the hemispheres. I'm learning about the two hemispheres and the asymmetry, uh, asymmetrical orientation of the two you know what I mean and it got my brain got shot into space so first it got cut in half and I'm starting to learn about the different systems in the brain and the body and how they're lateralized to the left and to the right and then once my brain got cut in half right through the corpus callosum by the way which is a bundle of axons that runs across the brain the two hemispheres that connects them right the corpus callosum however you want to say it so it got split right down the middle like that, and then my brain got shot into space, guys. And now all I can think about is astronomy and the planets and elliptical orbits, solar winds, suns, uh, galactic recycling. Like, all I, all I can think about now is astronomy terms, astronomical terms, and neuroscience. All right? Take it easy. Lazy line. Peace.